Hi folks, we're going to have a wee look at what we do with our floating quilts. So our, our floating um, quilts that we have, which in, in our kiddies range, we've got dinosaurs and we've got a farmyard. We've also got an undersea um, with, with um, mermaids, etc. What we do is we actually create our background first by joining a whole lot of strips randomly. You can colour block them or they can be totally random or you can set up scenes or you can use a an ombre back which doesn't have any seams in it all it's up to you but what we suggest is that you make your background and then within the files that we provide we actually provide some some templates so these are pdfs which we print out and you need to print them out at 100 percent make sure that they're not a print to fit it needs to be a hundred percent or exact size or actual um, so is that when you've printed this it actually matches um, the size of the actual embroidery so when we've got we actually cut them down and they are the actual size for the for the embroidery so what we suggest you do is you lay your back to, background down and then lay out your templates however you want them whether we've got a cat sitting on top of the fence there and there we could have the donkey sitting on top of the fence um but what, whatever and so wherever they will end up being um this will give you an idea of actually how to actually lay them out you can follow us or you can do your own thing you might have a story involved where you've got several of one animal so that's that's fine so we give you a template for all the different elements that you see within the quilt so let's let's move on from there and show you exactly how we actually work with the template so i've just given i've just made up a quick um just a, just a rough back so it's, it's not even pieced it's just this is my background and i might decide that i want to have some animals in such a position they're not straight they might be might be angled um and so we lay out our design and with a template you can with a with, you can stick it to a a, um, a grid which fits inside your your hoop now because our background is just fabric and batting or, or wadding um, we would need to put a, something behind that to embroider it. So let's start off and see where our, our positioning is going to be. So we want to grab that for the time being. So I'm going to substitute this for this. And so I need to find out where my cross here is. So on a template we have a cross here and we actually have an arrow. And the arrow, arrow tip is generally what points to the top of the hoop okay so it's what points to the top of the hoop so i've stuck my template onto here and i've matched my crosshairs with the crosshair of my grid and i now need to find out where my crosshair is to actually line it up with my um with my design so we can either mark on our actual fabric okay so i've got some marks there and that will give us so let me just check to see where my marks are because that didn't come through because i have got some sticky tape behind it So there is my cross here where my design will, will sit. So I have a cross here and a cross here. So we need to actually make sure that that is our positioning so as that we know where our design is going to go. So on our, on our actual hoop, we want to put some stabilizer into our hoop and we want to do the same thing. We want to make sure our arrow is pointing to the top of the hoop so this kitty cat's actually going to go in sideways so we just mark where our hoop is going to be and i will then mark my grid so i can see that my grid 
that grid is going to match my grid on my fabric. So what I'm going to do now is just check to see where my that's where my kitty cat's going to be. So it needs to be sitting like so. So this grid needs to sit on top of this grid here. So I need to make sure that my grids are aligned. Then once that's in position, you can pin it so it doesn't move just through the stabilizer and then put it into the machine really really gently without it moving and for you to check you can check once it's once it's in the machine you can just check to make sure that nothing's moved if it's slightly out it really really doesn't matter if it's just a, if it's just a squidge out it doesn't really really matter if it's slightly out so that is so I've got this here so is that my my design is going to be um, on those cross hairs. I know where my arrow is for the top of my hoop um, and so then we can now do our design uh, stitch it out through all layers and we have a layer of stabilizer on the back which can be either cut away left in torn away um, you might even want to use wash away which I don't think is necessary but um, um, then when the quilt is finished we stitch in the ditch in odd places and sometimes we might stitch around things etc to hold the backing on and then we bind so it's a fun way of doing a, uh, a, a quilt with different elements it's a fun way of um, creating a story for your littlies and we really enjoy making these they've been very very popular so have a go this is a very old technique using templates but you know what it still works still works with all brands of machines even though there's technology which is for alignment on all the brands all the top models have all this technology but nothing beats a template in a hoop